Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are we doing? It's good Corky here, our voice of hardcore boxing. And I'm joined today by Steve Crump. How are you doing Steve? I'm very well, thank you, Corky. You. Not a bad place this is it? Stunning. We're Stunning starting place. to polish up a little bit well, aren't we now? This bit of polish has gone well, hasn't it? Look at this, hey? We've got Josh Whale over there in the corner with his dad, Mick, the Hitman Whale. The Hitman Whale? <laughs> With, uh, Josh's bang on weight, professional outfit, aren't they? We're think? getting there, pal. We're getting there, aren't we? Uh, bang on weight, looking well, isn't he? Yeah, bang on weight, uh, looking fit. What do you think about this show, then, Steve? Tell me about it, Fist of Fury. I think it's uh, it's an exciting fight, and obviously we've got some international fighters coming over uh, to to broaden fight academies, uh, roots into different fighting academies and what have you. Uh, Tommy's up for his, Josh is up for his, it's just going to be another fantastic night of boxing again uh, and I can see all our fighters coming away with, uh, with a W, yeah. yeah. Uh, Josh Wales, second fight at featherweight, Steve, going Go into weight now after this fight, yeah. Yeah. looking for a big fight next. He's, he's, looking, uh, he's looking well and like I say he's growing into it yeah. Uh, and yeah, you know, onwards and upwards for Josh get this one out of the way and then hopefully next year we can get some, some kind of title on the line for him. A lot's been made of the weight that uh, with Josh moving up, but we have weight divisions for a reason, don't we? They're not, fighters are not superheroes, you can't just go up and down, it's safer for Josh at featherweight. Of course it is, yeah, I mean at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a dangerous sport we're in and they, we first things, fighters safety. You know, and, and if Josh, amount, isn't it? Oh, without a doubt, and if Josh is happy at that weight and he yeah. feels more comfortable at that, he's he's gonna uh, he's gonna perform better in himself, and he's gonna he's you know it suits him, so yeah. he's he's gonna be fitter and better, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's no good in killing yourself to get to a weight and then going into a fight half half with your tank half empty, is it? You no, know? that's right. That's uh, yeah. Uh, what do you think about uh, Tyrone Nurse coming on board with Dennis and uh, you? Yeah. I think, yeah, I think it's a great move. I think it's a great move for us, uh, and and also for Tyrone because it's new, it's new beginnings for them, and and new beginnings for us as well. And uh, he deserves, he de he deserves to get somewhere. He's another uh, ultimate professional that takes it serious. And uh, you know, I wish Tyrone well. I think, I think he'll do well with, with us. You know, we, we, we can open doors for him and that's what we're going to do with our fighters. We're going to make sure that they get the opportunities and chances. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll just talk about the other lads on the show. Uh, Kane Salvin. Yeah. We'll talk about Tommy. Yeah. Who's Kane at the moment, Steve? Yeah, and I mean, he's, he's right at the beginning of his career, isn't he? And uh, I think he's his third fight this. Second or third fight. Yeah. So, yeah, he's, yeah. you know, he's right, at, he's right at starting line and he's got a lot to learn. And uh, he's just got to keep on doing what he's doing and, and, and work hard and, and get them W's rather than them L's. Yeah. Uh, Sufjan Ahmed on as well with uh, Irving Magno and Liam Dream. It's, it's a good card, isn't it? Very good card, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's come together well, to be fair. And, uh, and yeah, I think he's from Fuchs's gym, so it'd be nice to to get one of Fuchs's fighters out and, and get him some exposure as well. Yeah. yeah. Are you happy with how things are going to do at the moment? Because you've been I've, I've got a smile on my face, Anna. Now, like, for over a year now, haven't you? Yeah, we've, I think it's coming up for nearly two years yeah, now. We've been, like two, two years yeah, yeah, it has. And yeah, I've got, it's, it's enjoyable. You know. It's been a hard slog, hasn't it, to get to where we are now to build foundation. But we've got a great foundation. You know, we've got some exciting things in front of people know what we're in front of them. Well, like, yeah. that's why I've got a big smile on my face. But, you know, <laughs> we've got to keep that under wraps yeah. for now, haven't we? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. As, as you well know, things are going to go in the right direction, spectacular. So, yeah. yeah Fast forward six months, and yeah. let's see where we'll be then. Yeah, uh, now, Tommy Frank is headlining the show, obviously, and he's fighting for the WBC Silver International belt. Steve, how did that come about? We wanted to get Tommy another belt because obviously we want to try and build his profile. Uh, it come available, IBF weren't playing. 
the, the ball as much and, and I'm not being obstructive but weren't being as helpful as we wanted them to be. So we went down another avenue, secured that title shot for him and uh, yeah, same again. He ain't got it yet, has he? He's got to win. So yeah. he's got a he's got a big opportunity in front of him, and it's down to Tommy to take it. We can put people there and things for him, but at the end of the day, they've got to take that opportunity, haven't they? Yeah, they have. Uh, and if he obviously if Tommy wins tomorrow night, he might get a ranking with WBC. That's it. it. Opens another door for him, doesn't yeah. it? it? Opens another door, and uh, the thing is with Tommy, as you know, he's an ultimate professional. He trains hard. He lives the fight of a, prof a professional boxer. So he deserves them chances and it's our job to gain them chances and that's yeah. that's what we're here for. Yeah. And to make memories and have a good a good time along with Great memories, aren't we? That's if it. If we can get a few credit process, how, how, how we are in anybody? Well that's it. It, will that's be a few it. Well. it well it could be, it could be. But we are keeping quiet on that, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, keep it. It's all positive stuff, isn't it? It uh, is. Boxing's on everybody's lips, Steve, at the moment, do you agree? It's uh it's it's gotta be in like top five rankings of sports, aren't it? Oh, yeah. You know, what's yeah, what's out there. It, it is it is coming to the top and, and yeah. it's getting recognised and every, it's for the right reasons as well, isn't it? It's yeah. not it's not bad stories, it's all good oh, good news stories, so yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Uh, just want to touch on some latest news in boxing. What do you think Tyson Fury's win? Think you're lucky? Uh, yeah, I, I, to be honest with you, when I've heard that uh, they've been calling for his uh, trainer to be sacked because he'd left it all in gym, I think that was a little bit harsh on his trainer. I think he's called Ben into his trainer. I, you know, look at look what he's got in, in that position. He's got him in a peak position, physically fit. Shed load away. Somewhere that line, there's going to be there's going to be questions asked because he's lost his weight so quick and what have you. And that that was it. I think I think he deserved win. Uh, if it had been in with a better fighter, if, it, if that had been done too well, then what would have been the result then? Who knows? Mm. Would he have Would he have approached that fight different? Would Wilder have been? Would the, would the fight have been stopped if it had been rather than other corner on the Bob I'm sure I very much doubt that. Yeah. You don't know, do you? you if don't that know. had been in on a if that had been on a an away card, it would have would have got stopped. Yeah. It's one of the worst ones I've ever seen. It wear a bad cut, it? it was bad as Henry Cooper's again. It wear a bad a nasty cut, and it's going to take some time, and he needs to make sure that he gets looked after right. I did say uh, six weeks ago that he will not fight Wilder at all next year. Now and people said he's fighting him in February. Not being now. Well, I said, look, he said April, then October, then Feb. Now Feb is the third date he's given. Will not happen. Do you think it's going to happen, Steve? I don't think it'll happen. Possibly until back end of year, if, yeah, yeah. even if they can make it. What it, date? Well, yeah. Yeah. Is Wilder going to wait for him like that, or is Wilder going to start looking at other options? Because he's not going to sit around waiting for him, is it? No. Well, when he first said it, we're going to be April. When we get to February 22nd, we might get an April date from him. Yeah. Now that will be. Two years from the original first date for the rematch. Yeah, yeah. These now see how boxing works. <laughs> oh, it's now you've seen crazy, it isn't it? Team. It's crazy. It's madness. It, it is crazy. And to be fair, for Tyson, he has got to take that time to make sure to give the best opportunity. I mean, he's got to give it time to wheel. But what he's got to watch as well is his weight. He's got to keep on training. And he can't yeah. sit back and balloon back up. So, do you think that that boat's gonna sail like the Kel Brook Khan fight now? Because They've had plenty of time to make this rematch. I think yeah. they both might be a little bit frightened of each other. Yeah, yeah, possibly so. And I think, like, like with Kel and, uh, and Amir Khan, I think it'll still happen. I think that'll still happen. Yeah. But it won't be the fight that we're expecting to because yeah. obviously they're getting to, to the end of their career, aren't they? You know, they're getting to twilight. So I think, uh, I think with Wilder and, and Fiora, I think it'll still happen because of the money that's involved with it, you know, but you might be waiting a full 12 months now, yeah. if not more, because of that call. Because he's going to want a warm up fight, isn't he? Yeah, but then, but see, he needs, why does an elite athlete at the top of his game, best heavyweight in the world, best skill set, keep fight. telling us, yeah. why do these people need warm up fights and two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just going out dragging on and on, in yeah. my opinion. 
when we get to February 22nd, that is 22 months from the first date proposed for the rematch. Yeah. 22 months and it can happen and we don't see a date down the line. They give you a date, in my opinion, to palm you off, pay your lip service. Yeah, 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 yeah. Other, other question you got to ask yourself as well, Russ, is um, this £100 million pound fight deal over four fights he's got, well, £100 million, what's going to happen now? Because obviously he's only one fight into that and he can't fight for a while. Two fights into it. Is he two fights yeah. into it? Sorry. Is, is, is so he, he's halfway he's in. He's had two fights since Wilder, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Swartz and Warren. Yes, yes. You're right. right. He's had a five fight deal with Frank Warren, that's up now. Whether he's got a new deal. He's, he's got, got a deal not. in America, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got a deal in the bottom. So, there's two fights into that deal now. Is that is is there a get out clause in that if he gets injured? Uh, I don't know. I would have, I would have thought they would have had uh, some sort of clause in it. But there's two fights with Bob. His, his deal with Frank's done. He's going to need a British promoter for British money now. Isn't yeah, yeah, yeah. It? Does he go to Eddie Hearn? Does he stay with Frank? Well, we can we can look after him if he wants to. But I don't think he'll want to come down to our level just yet, will he? Well, uh, but then again, you never know. You might just be right. You yeah, never know. Tyson Fury on three sports. Uh, yeah. Steve would. Uh, That'd open some eyes, wouldn't it? It <laughs> <laughs> would, Pat. Uh, but, 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 but yeah, so everything's all right. We're all happy campers. All happy campers. Uh, yeah. Your company, Steve. Tell me a little bit about your company. While My you're company. Running. Uh, yeah, JJ come from somewhere, an insulation and eating company. Yeah. Uh, we carry our uh, eating and renewables and insulation works throughout the country. Uh, been going for 30, 30 plus years. 13 years? 30, 30, yeah. 30 plus years, yeah. Uh, we're a family company, but we are a national company. We've kind of grown. So, yeah. Anybody wants any works or anything like that doing, please. Uh, Basically, if you want radiators or boilers in your house. Boilers or you want your house insulating, that's, you know, we are the people to come and see. So, no problem, Pat. No problem. If anybody wants a radiator, do all the boilers. Yeah. Steve Crunchy Man. <laughs> JJ Crumpers. All right, Steve. Take Cheers, Pat. Thank, Thank you. Brilliant. Awesome. You, can you take pictures with that? Can you um two Steve's at Sam, I've got a bit of thing here. Is that S D Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Yeah. Steve Corky here. The voice of hardcore boxing. And I am joined today by Ron Lyle, aka Dennis Hobson. How are you doing Ron? That's it, I'm a twist and all that. Roll, roll. No, wrong. I've been to some press conferences and some weigh-ins with you over the last five, four or five years, but you've managed to... Up to his game. Up to his game a little bit, haven't we? Well, we've got our international friends coming over from Thailand, haven't we? Yeah. And uh, we're looking to try and do something yeah, on a regular basis. <laughs> no comments. Uh, I bet you've said that a few times, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, pal. I'm to see you, Chrissy, then, but things are looking very, very good, aren't they? Uh, we, look, we plug away, don't we? Turned, it? We're plugging away. We've got some we? stick last few years, haven't we? But, what do we say? Better to be an has been than a never been, and uh, we're always knocking on the door and let's see where we get to. But uh, I've got some good people involved with me with Steve Crump, Steve Ailing, and uh, you know yourself and we've got people supporting us like you and Nick Claire and, and one or two so one of my dad's sayings no man is an island yeah. and it's true you need you need a team yeah, it's, um the thing is, you see, how I look at it is, right, you know boxing, the landscape changes, doesn't it? Mm. When I used to moan at the beginning when I was with you, you used to say, look, the landscape would change, <laughs> just sometimes get to get on. Yeah, 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 it goes in cycles and the one thing that you see, you see, how many times you get people say, oh, Frank Warren's done. Mm. And then he reinvents himself, goes in a different pattern, and so you've got to, even though I don't like some of his antics in business, I respect him immensely because he's a proper boxing man. He stood the test of time, and uh, and he can never 
they never keep him down for long. So he's back up uh, on the top table with BT, and uh, there's him and Eddie who's the main guys. So as long as we get a piece of the pie, um, I'm happy. Um, I can, you know, we're capable of pulling big fights, putting big fights together, getting kids opportunity, uh, and and we've done it in the past, and I think we'll do it again. Yep. Chris Aston just walked in. Tyron Nurse, he's getting to look fresher every time I see him. The big boys are here now, Dennis. It's, uh, yeah, it's fight time, isn't it? A couple of new signings, the talk, talks going on for a couple of kids who are looking to join at all. Impressed. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting there. Russ is just to bring this up, Dennis, but I think, so, but I, think uh, there's, there's a, I see a lot of different changes in the last few weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you want to bring it up? No, oh, I meant about obviously your mum dying. Oh, All right. Yeah, yeah. Put that to the argument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my mum's birthday today, bless her. I know, but it's like uh, I've just been a scare. Bad, like, uh, bad time. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's what's coming to us all, but it, no matter how old they are, it, it hits you. So, um, but then you start looking at what you know gives you a kick up arse sometimes, and you think, well, what am I doing? What I'm doing? Why am I doing it? And um, and you've just got to fulfil or follow your passion. Boxing is a passion for me, which I, I made into a business. Um, if it were any other business, I'd probably be on it because at times I've done my money in. But you know, it's, it's a thankless task sometimes. But you live for the big nights. And you know, like we've come to G Casino today, uh, you can see they, you know, they all started they started to dress things up yeah. and polish things up a little bit more for us. Mm. And uh, and you need partners like that, and uh, that'll take us to the next level, which we're hopefully going to get to. Mm. And uh, we're just starting from the bottom league. We have been doing, haven't we? Yeah. And now we've probably gone up a couple of leagues. We're not in Premier League no. yet. We're not even in Championships, but we're in second. We're in yeah, probably. But we've gone up a division, so we get in there. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm happy. We, uh, we're going in the right direction. Absolutely. So, so, uh, all right, then, well, listen, I'll uh, see you around after the rain. We'll, uh, we'll go for a bit of scrum. Uh, right, take care. Big up to Climate Cool. <laughs>